All right, you guys, what it do, man? It's your boy, Jay. Welcome back to another lit bang. Hopefully, y'all having a good day. Hopefully, y'all safe. Hopefully, y'all brushing y'all hair. Now, this is going to be one of the best videos. One of the best videos for all you watching style waivers out there. So, I woke up this morning. I checked my IG. If y'all not, if, if not following me on IG, at Dre McGee, go follow me right now. Send me your photos. Send me your questions. Send me... You know anything about 360 waves or anything you want to know about me over there all right go follow my snapchat i like to snap a lot of food you know just my life over there you know what i'm saying go do that but what i realize is that a lot of people are having problems or troubles with what to do after a washing style so right now i just did a washing style and i'm going to be showing you guys what i like to do after washing style so a lot of people say when they do the washing style, they stick their, I mean, whenever they take off their do-rag, <clears throat> their hair sticks up. What should they do? Or the waves aren't there. What should they do? Or my hair is dry. What should I do? Or, you know, how do I brush my hair after washing style? What should I do? So that's why this is going to be the best video for you guys because the washing style is important when it comes to 360 waves. It's important. They, it betters your 360 waves, the connection, and lays your hair down. It, it, it make, it, it, it's like a cheat, bro. It gets your waves faster. The more you do it, the longer your hair is, the better your waves will come. But the thing that you guys don't know is what to do after. And I'm going to be showing you guys, demonstrating what I like to do after. So if you guys want to do what I like to do after, go for it. So I'm going to get y'all set up. I got my products and stuff on the counter, my brush, all that good stuff that I'm going to show you guys what to use and what to do after washing style. So I just did a washing style. I'm gonna take my do-rag off and show you guys what I like to do after it. So y'all stay tuned, click that thumbs up button, subscribe, click that bell button so you don't miss a video. Let's get into it. All right, now that I got you guys all set up right here, I am re removing my do-rag. So after a washing style, I let my hair dry for about like 45 minutes, right? Let it dry. Okay, so once I take this do rag off, my hair is gonna be dry. My waves, they're they're gonna stick up. They're gonna they're gonna frizz up. You know what I'm saying? And they're not gonna be there, right? So what should you do when that happens? I'm gonna show you guys right now. So my hair is laid down a lot. So let me show you guys what it's looking like. This is what it's looking like. You don't really see any. You don't really see any like waves, right? You don't really see nothing. I know a lot of people go through that problem. Because it's like it's a washing style. It feels it feels rough. It feels nasty. So what I like to do is I like to take my pomade, right? I'll take my pomade and then I will put just a little bit, a little bit. All right. Take your pomade. Take your butter. This is all natural butter. So I like to take it. And I like to put just a little bit on it because my hair is super short. I don't like to put too much. Just a little bit. You see, just a little just a tad bit as someone calls me, but just a little tad bit, right? And then put it on there. You know what I'm saying? Rub it in, depending on how much hair you got. I only have a little bit, see? Both my hands are greasy. And I like to put it in the way that I brush my hair. So since I brush the top down, we're gonna put this in down, right? Boom. I put majority at the top because um, it takes a while for my top to lay down. Then I grab just a little bit more. And then we're gonna work on the back and we're gonna work on the side. So we got the back, don't need too much, the side. So right now my hair feels rough, it feels so nasty. I don't feel any type of waves. It's just the it's just the ripple stage, right? That's what you guys are talking about, the ripple stage, the roughness, the dryness, your waves aren't there, your hair sticking up, right? So we're gonna put it in that motion that we brush, right? It don't matter what you have, you can put your pomade, your all natural butter, you can put your coconut oil, your Cantu, your sporting waves, your 360 style, whatever you have, your blue magic, just put it in your hair, right? It, it's all the same, bro. Put it in your hair. All right, I'm gonna put it just a little bit more. Put just a little bit more. All right, so we got the side. Boom, 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 boom. So now that that's in, all right, look at my hair. It's dark, right? Nice, dark, but it don't look like my waves are there yet, right? We haven't brushed yet. So, now that I did that, this is all natural butter. I can wipe it on my hands, you know, on my face, beard, mustache, whatever, arms, whatever. It's all natural, bro. It's not gonna hurt you. So, 
once we've done that, I got my stuff in, now I go to my brush. Now this is a medium soft, medium soft brush. If you have a medium brush, you can wet it and it'll turn into a medium soft. This is just a medium soft automatically. So um, I like to go like that, you know, all the natural butter I have left over, I can put it in. So we're just gonna just brush, bro. Depending on how long your hair is. Since my hair is super short, I run to the medium soft. So we're just gonna brush. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't hurt my scalp because it's medium soft. You don't want to use no brush that hurts your scalp. You don't want that, right? So what I like to do is, I like to brush. And how I know when I'm done, um, I'll just feel it. If it feels smooth and not rough and laid down, then I'll know that I'm done brushing. You feel me? I know that it's time to put my do-rag back on, save the progress, right? I don't count how many strokes, I just brush. Brush until it feels laid down, brush until it feels soft, until it feels, you know, not in the ripple stage. So, that's all I like to do, brush. So hopefully you guys are brushing too after you put your products in. If you don't know your angles, basically you go look in the, go to the bathroom, look in the bathroom, figure out your angles. Cause you don't want to just be brushing anything, right? I know my angle, so. All right, so let's get a feel. Okay, if it feels soft, okay. I can feel the waves coming in, so let's brush just a little bit more. All right. You gotta know your hair, man. You gotta know when your hair is ready to, you know, for you to put the do-rag on. So since the top is like the most, you know, difficult part of my head for me, I brush the top more than anything to try to get that laid. Right? So the back lays down quicker than anything. I got the back to lay down so quick. It's just my sides and my top are the most difficult ones, right? So we're gonna keep brushing until we feel the softness. So my, my top feels soft. Before it was ripples, before they were you know dry, before they weren't there. So now that you know I've brushed they feel soft, right? Bro, it's, just, it's that simple, man. You gotta keep brushing until you don't feel that ripple stage. You gotta keep brushing until you see the, you know, you see, until you see them coming in. So as you guys can see, they starting to slowly creep up in there. We're gonna keep going. Keep going for the front. Get that going, boom, 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 boom. All right, that should be enough. So after that, I like to take my plastic bag. You know what I'm saying? Cause you still have all the little hair sticking up. Majority of your hair is laid down because of you've been doing the brushing, but you still have the little hair. So I run to my plastic bag. It can be any bag, any grocery store bag, any Ziploc bag, whatever. And I just smoothly go over it. You know, I don't count, I just go over it until my hair feels like soft, until it feels laid down. Until I don't feel any baby hair sticking up, we just go over. So I do this every every time after I wash this style, and it works for me, you know. Every time. So you know what to do after you're done with this. It's simple. You're gonna put your do rag back on. You know what I'm saying? But let's do this first. Boom, boom. You know, lay down those baby hairs. You want you can use your hand with it since your hand is you know rough and the bag is just you know all straight flat surface you can use it you know help help your hair out even more and boom so now that we're done with that my hair feels bro it feels good you know it's dark you guys can't really guys can't really tell because of the light all right um but it feels good it feels laid down so what i like to do is i like to take my durag i like to wet it a little bit you know i don't have my my spray bottle but i like to wet my durag just a little bit with the spray bottle i just you know spray it once i've sprayed it put my durag back on so let's say we sprayed it right you're gonna throw it back on any durag you have tie it up right tie it up and then we're gonna wait like 
maybe 30 minutes. Then once we take it off, th that's it. We take it off, we can run to our hard brush, brush, or you can run back to your plastic bag and go over it. And that's about it, man. The ripples are gone, your waves are back, the dryness is gone because you put your products in. The, uh, you know, your hair's not sticking up. You, you, you did your brush session, you, you did your bag session. You know, you wet, you, you wet your do-rag so your hair can get moist a little bit and lay down and your waves will form up. So that's what I like to do, man. If you guys want to do what I do, go for it, all right? If not, if you want to stick to what you know, go for it. But you know, I make this video for you guys so you guys can better your waves. And that's about it, man. So thank you all so much for watching. Really appreciate the support. Give this video a thumbs up. Show your friends. Make sure your friends show their friends. Make sure their friends show their friends. And we all be a, you know, a big group of wavy people. You know what I'm saying? So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, it's your boy Dre. If you ain't brushing, I'm brushing. Peace.